Hello again. This lecture is entitled Extreme Anemia. Extreme anemia is certainly one of the approved indications for hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Fortunately, you're not going to see this presentation very often. Now, these patients are in dire straits and we certainly can be helpful to them uh, with our hyperbaric uh, chambers. Uh, so you need to understand why this is appropriate and what the indications are for treating patients with extreme anemia. You need to understand the physiology and some of the physics behind it. However, rarely are you going to be called on to treat a patient like this unless you're at a academic center, a large uh, medical center uh, that is doing uh, significant work, especially with certain groups of patients uh, that may be looking for bloodless options. Uh, certainly, you'd have a role in uh, that team uh, management of that patient. But if you are running a small center um, in an outpatient department uh, operating, um, you know, during the week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, uh, this uh, type of patient is going to not walk through the door uh, and present for treatment. So with that uh, prelude, we'll go ahead and start the lecture. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, I'm going to provide you with a, a number of different definitions to define some of the uh, physiology uh, related to blood loss anemia and extreme anemia. We're going to talk about hyperbaric applications and why hyperbaric may have a role in the management of these patients. We'll leave you with some utilization guidelines as